five minutes. Brandon, we can get a mic for Lee. Can you just start?
Let our ministry not be one of show, but real ministry. In these trying times, Lord, to have a rebirth in our lives and at least an end to this pandemic. Lord, hear us. But I just want to pray for this morning. People are rising. Hospitals are getting ready for the more tree. People are celebrating. But you want to pray quickly. We want to bless the airways, bless Barry Media, food, Harold, his team, um, Father, everybody who is involved in liturgy. Natasha for helping and spearhead us. Bless all our efforts, Lord. Lord, hear us. Those who would like to be here who can't be here, Lord, hear us. Families who have allowed us to be who we are today. We have awakened today for new life. Lord, hear us. Our private intentions. Lord, hear us. celebrate this one night in Novena, and I know many are tuning in, will be tuning in later. We bless our altar, our space with incense. We had a donor giving us this turable and incense. Lord, bless the efforts of this young man who have given this, to have sanctify these equipment, make them sacramental to Christ our Lord. Amen. We have Okom Okom Emmanuel, that will be followed by the Eucharistic Rosary. Mourns Rejoice, 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 Emmanuel shall come to thee, Rejoice, 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 Emmanuel shall come to me, O Israel. Open wide our heavenly home. Rejoice, rejoice, 
rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice in Shall come, shall come to the Israel. We just sit and if you look behind me, there's a whole tapestry. The sun will rise. In some countries, you don't see the sun rising, nor the sun setting. We see the sun rising and the sun setting. So have your eyes tuned. The whole of creation is waking up now. People are going. People are leaving work, hospitals, the bars, a whole set of activity. We bring all that we experience in creation before God. We meditate how God sneaked into a woman's womb behind God's back at Bethlehem. We have a Eucharistic rosary that this woman in her womb carried the flesh and became home, flesh, Jesus, salvation because of her, yes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived, He rose again from the dead. He ascended, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world with we just bow our heads. Many people are logging in now, and we welcome them online. It's very hard for people to be away, but we welcome you where you cannot come. We come with you in prayer. We bring our petitions today as we start this Aurora Mass and our Eucharistic Rosary before Holy Mass itself. We will see the sunrise in God's willing. We can't be outside of the threat of the weather, but you will, the sun will still come in the midst of darkness. So just imagine so much darkness in our world, and a doctor came last, and he says, Father, if you see the hospital, you'll be surprised. Sometimes you have to choose who goes on the IC unit. It's so frightening now. So we pray for all those saints of the 21st century, the doctors and the nurses who are bending their backs this morning, this day, and so much pain. And we will use our culture of death now and our pain and our past to be a stepping stone of grace this Christmas. So those who are online, I invite you to share maybe you can key in where you're, whatever you're feeling in the midst of darkness. In the darkness, a light will shine. In a few moments, you will see it rising, S-U-N. You will see us lifting our host, S-O-N, and that amalgamation, that revelation is what Aurora means, a new beginning every Christmas. And today is the opening of the last longest night. That's why we have Aurora on this day. So just bow your heads and bring your petition, bring whatever you want to bring before God in this awesome moment as we pray our rosary. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, we sing one verse. Oh, I'm so quiet, just play one verse of oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, while we just begin again. Oh, 
joyful mystery, the Annunciation. At the words of the, va of the validly ordained priest at every holy mass, bread and wine are changed substantially into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is my body. This is my blood, spoken by the Catholic priest are the most powerful and effective words on earth. When Mary answered the angel Gabriel's request from heaven, to become the mother of God, the mother of the Son of the Most High, her words, be it done unto me according to thy word, brought Jesus Christ, the word incarnate, to earth for the first time. For the world to have its Savior, the words of Mary were required. The consecrating words of the priest are required today. The Jesus who becomes present on our altars and in our tabernacles is the same body, blood, soul and divinity of Jesus, Amen. conceived in Mary by the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning it's now, now and ever shall be, world without end. end. We just sing one verse, so come, O come, Emmanuel. Come, Lord Jesus, quickly. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in Rejoice, 
rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come. Rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Mary visited St. Elizabeth and thereby brought Jesus to her cousin and to the yet unborn John the Baptist. It was the moment of John's deliverance from original sin. The coming of Mary brings with it the coming of Jesus and freedom from sin, for Mary is the refuge of sinners. Pope John Paul II, in calling Marian year to introduce us to the third millennium of Christianity, in his encyclical mother, the Redeemer, and the piety of the Christian people, has always very rightly sensed the profound link between devotion to the Blessed Virgin and worship of the Eucharist. Mary guides the faithful to the Eucharist. O Lady of the Holy Eucharist, obtain from us a great faith and love for your Son incarnate in the Blessed Sacrament. We are anxious to visit him in the tabernacle of our parish church. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We sing one verse, O come, O come. Lord, bless our churches now, and bless tabernacles, and ransom. Till the Son of God appears. Rejoice.
rejoice. Rejoice. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Jesus Christ. As soon as Mary brought forth the child Jesus into the world from the tabernacle of her holy womb, she adored the newborn Savior. Saint Joseph and finally the angels and shepherds adored Christ the Lord, born in a stable in Bethlehem. By receiving Jesus' body, blood, soul, and divinity in Holy Communion, we can have Jesus born again and again into our souls. Amen. We grow in grace with the assurance that every Holy Communion will give us a higher and holier place in heaven for all eternity. We want to prepare to receive you by faith and prayer, as Mary did with a pure heart before your conception. O oh Lord, and whenever she participated in Holy Mass, celebrated by one of the holy by one of the apostles our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray Amen. for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever, ever shall be, be, a world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. Come, Lord. Come, Lord. Quickly. Our world is racked with fever and disobedience and so much pain. Sing church. Ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile. And 
until the Son of God. Come, Lord Jesus, rejoice. You are coming. You act. Rejoice. Shall come to the O Fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Saint Joseph and Mary brought the child Jesus to the temple at Jerusalem. Amen. There he was offered to God the Father. Every day at the sacrifice of the Mass in our parish church, Jesus is offered sacrificially to the Father as the Mass perpetuates the sacrifice of the cross. No longer are the thousands of sacrifices of the Old Testament needed. The day St. Joseph and Mary appeared in the temple with the Christ child, an infinitely perfect offering was made as never before. This offering of Jesus will be climaxed on Calvary's cross. Jesus experiences his first pain as the law of Moses is fulfilled. Mary is told her heart will be pierced as men will reject her son as savior. That rejection includes those who refuse to believe that Jesus is really present in the Blessed Sacrament Amen. and perpetuates his sacrifice at Holy Mass. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, as was, it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever shall be, world without world end. Amen. Amen. Yes. 
The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the Jesus, the child Jesus in the temple. Mary was created full of grace, and yet the capacity of her immaculate heart grew daily in grace, in knowledge, in wisdom. Did you not know that I had to be about my father's business? Amen. Jesus answered Mary when she told the child Jesus how her father and she had sought him in sorrow. Mary must have grown tremendously as she pondered his holy answer. Today, some try to find Jesus outside his true church. They attempt to go outside his priesthood and the mystical body of which Jesus is head and the Pope, the visible head. Jesus rules through those bishops throughout the world who teach, govern, and sanctify in union with the Pope. But it is in the temple of Jesus' true church, in his sacrifice of the Mass, in the Blessed Sacrament, that we find him just as Mary and Joseph found him in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now for our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end.
until the Son of God. As we come to the end of the year of St. Joseph, we pray the litany of St. Joseph. Holy Mary, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for illustrious us. son of David, pray for us. light of patriarchs, pray for us. spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. guardian of our Redeemer, pray for us. pure guardian of the Virgin Mary, pray for us. provider for the Son of God, pray for us. zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. servant of Christ, Pray for us. Minister of Salvation. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph Most Just. Pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste. Pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent. Pray for us. Joseph Most Brave. Pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient. Pray for us. Joseph Most Loyal. Pray for us. Mirror of Patience. Pray for us. Lover of Poverty. Pray for us. Model for Carpenters. Pray for us. Model for Workers. Pray for us. Glory of family life, Pray for us. guardian of virgins, Pray for us. cornerstone of families, Pray for us. support in times of difficulties, Pray for us. comfort of the suffering, Pray for us. hope of the sick, Pray for us. patron of exiles, Pray for us. patron of the afflicted, Pray for us. patron of immigrants, Pray for us. patron of the poor, Pray for us. patron of the dying, Pray for us. terror of demons, Pray for us. protect of the holy church of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. We pray, O oh God, in this inexpressible providence this morning, please to choose Mary and Joseph. We pray that we who revere them as protect on earth of the womb of salvation may be worthy of his heavenly intercession, who live and reign forever and ever. Hail, Holy Queen. that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Who is by his only begotten Son, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant we beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the soul of the faithful depart with you. Through the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. We prepare this altar for a holy mass. We just bring all our petitions, all our sorrow, joy at Christmas time in this aurora morning. If you notice the sun rising, I guess against the weather, something is happening. So though there are clouds in the background there, the sun rises still. So you just recognize that though there'll be clouds, the sun rises. Lord, prepare us. We sing as we prepare the altar. We pray our procession. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. And you tour of Lombard. Must see why not? Why not smoking?
Divine Messiah, the Holy when and set this away, Savior, come, come to us. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of God's Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Just look behind me and you see sun sneaking. And God is always re rescuing and trying to rebuild and reconcile and rejuvenate and reconstruct. And that's why the sun rises on just and unjust. The first thing we do as Catholics, after meditating, we pray that God may have mercy in our lives and so many have joined us wherever they are. We bring sin before God. And as you said before, our Advent conscience must be at least be investigated. And we just ask God to investigate where we have gone wrong, that all the graces at Christmas time may come deep into our families, wherever we are in our situations, and let our hearts be stretched open. Let's bow your heads and bring any areas of your lives that we have not found worthy to be with God. The church invites us to investigate four areas, idols, sometimes something less than God we try to replace God with. And Satan can sneak us, sneak into our lives and pretend it's very ritual. And it could be so many things that we replace God with that was created by God or a person or a thing. We bring sin on our human body. So many people are dying, they're more treated in the funerals and the homes and the Cemeteries are challenged. This culture of death and 
the human body comes to naught. We bring sin against our neighbor and how we treat people. At the end of the day, that's the only thing we take with us, the things we give away to people's lives. Our time, treasure, talent. And we bring sin against creation, waking up now, animals, and the sun rising. Our dawn is breaking. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Bow your heads. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us all our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Can you touch our hearts and celebrate mercy? Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from the old by slavery to sin and exile and disobedience, beneath the yoke of slavery, that each one of us as Christians may be set free by the newness, by the dawn that rises of that long-awaited Messiah at Nativity, of your beloved Son, who lives, who reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, there's a God who lives forever and ever. Amen. Please sit with us in God's word. Days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. When I will raise a virtuous branch for David, Amen. who will reign as true king and be wise, practicing honesty and integrity in the land. In his days of Judah will be saved and Israel dwell in confidence. And this is the name of he will be called the Lord of our integrity. So then, the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. When people will no longer say, as the Lord lives who brought the sons of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives who, is, who led back 
and brought home the descendants of the house of Israel out of the land of the north and from all the countries to which he had dispersed them to live on their own soil. Mm -hmm. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. So we just bought uh, the book of Jeremiah, all of those are, days are coming and the Lord will raise up from the shoot of David. Long ago, God says he's going to touch humanity. He's going to enter into the dysfunctional nature and the mess. The genealogy is fraught with women and prostitution and men and so many things. Because God is saying that in the crack, light will come. And in your family is too dysfunctional, he will find a way and be born again. And the land that you own shall become your own land for him and him, him alone. Our psalmist will bless us. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. Oh God, give your judgment to the king. To a king's son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace to the moon shall save the poor when they cry and the needy who are helpless you will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name, let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace to the moon fail. Justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. We continue to meditate on justice and that's how we treat people. And we ask God to we ask God to open our hearts to hear the word of God as we announce the birth of Jesus. We listen to the birds and they begin the aurora. There's a particular time that birds wake up and this is the moment. It's happened just before our gospel. That's indicative. Creation is awakening. You see the light coming up a little brighter. You hear the cocks crowing.
Please turn and welcome the gospel. Hallelujah. 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 Outstretched arms, Alleluia. be with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Words of my mind and my lips and my heart proclaim good news. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they could live together, she was found to be with a child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a man of honor, wanting to spare her shame and publicity, he, divided, he decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. And the angel said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to her son. You must name him Jesus, because he's the one who is to save people from sin. Now all of this took place to fulfill the words spoken by the prophet. A virgin will conceive. She will give birth to her son, and they will call him Emmanuel a name which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, Joseph did exactly what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. He took his wife to his home. The good news, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your word is light, your word illuminates, your word is dawn, your word is an aurora. aurora. Thy way is a, light. is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy way is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my One more time, thy word. Thy word is light. Amen. So church, we sit, it's very early in the morning to preach raucous, but very different times, the Aurora Mass comes differently, and this time, I think it's the first time we are doing it between the 17th and the 24th. Sometimes it happens before, like in the first three weeks of Advent. So what happens in the first three weeks of Advent is when we're talking about our end. But when it hit the 17th to the 24th, the church goes and done something called the O Antiphon, which is where you celebrate the first coming, Christmas. So we are on the 18th today. Yesterday was the 17th. And it was clear from yesterday when we started, because you're talking about the first birth. Because long time, we never had Advent. We used to get ready for Christmas 
early o'clock, we used to go down here in Mabadong, Independent Square, and buy grapes and apples. You never had grapes and apples like how we have it now. We used to paint the house, paint the walk, put away the house. Everything was focused on the first coming. Only two, 30 years ago, maybe, we started talking about this Advent. Because it's not more baby again. It's when you close your eyes, the Muslim says, and you raise up, on the third day, you want to see God's face. And that kind of judgment, what John says, repentance and turn away and are you ready? And that reboot is what the church has put aside for us. But right now, between the 8th, 17th and the 24th, today and every day, we have Aurora Masses. And the Father will testify to this, that in Latin America, that's what they do for nine, nine nights. They come out early in the morning, 4 o'clock. They walk in the, in the dark and they go back in light. That's what we'll be doing. We came in total darkness. And you see the sun, well, the dawn is rising. You won't see the sun here. But we're going to be talking about Christmas, and there's so much you could talk about, and so much f Christmas figures and figurines. Today, Matthew writes something very important. Matthew begins his gospel with Emmanuel, God is with us. And I never learned this only last night while I was research researching it. Matthew also ends his gospel. He says, I repeat, John, uh, Matthew chapter 28, chapter Verse 20, he says, I will be with you always to the end of time. So the beginning and the end of Matthew's gospel, he's telling you, I'm kind of with you. God will never abandon. God will never reject. In the midst of COVID, in the midst of thing of darkness, in the midst of ICU, in the midst of no hope, God, will, God is. Other religions, mystical religions, think God has come and he walked away and he came back to judge. Catholics and most Christians believe God is in the mix. You have to open your eyes to see it because Jesus is the fulfillment of God's promise to come and live among us. Jesus is the Lord of the universe and dressed in flesh. So do not be afraid. John Matthew is saying, I am with you from the beginning. Emmanuel. Where are you going to find God in all of this? I, I think you have to find him in Joseph. We end the year. It's very important today. Um, Joseph, strange man. He knew the script here. And he worked with his hand, a very simple man. He was a just man because justice means he directed his whole life to the service and love of neighbor and for God. But I want to let you know that Christmas could not have happened, I always say. Not only Mary saying yes, Joseph had to say yes. Today's scripture says, and Joseph, the son of David. Now, all long ago, they said from a branch of David, a savior will come. If Joseph said no, and he not listened to her, and he can't take this, and he can't take the infel infidelity, and his shame, because Joseph had evidence of infidelity. Some people don't. We just have suspicion. We hear on the phone, and we see. Joseph saw the belly. Joseph said she's making baby. So he had right to divorce. But he's a man of no revenge and no jealousy. He says, I won't shame your girl. If I were here, I would have shame her and jealous and go on Facebook and post things. He's a man of honor. He's a man of justice. He's a, he's a man in the will of God. And Joseph, you have to understand, he, he obeyed because with obedience come blessing. Disobedience bring curse. Very important. He never responded to tyrannical passion of jealousy and vengeance. And a lot of us have hastened anger. We have an anger issue. Joseph didn't. He knew the scripture. He lived it. And his obedience is what brought, brought blessing because he's a patron saint of justice. And apparently, he's also a patron saint against the devil, and he's a patron saint for happy death. Apparently, he also he died in the arms of Mary and Joseph. So there's so much great things happening today. If Joseph didn't say yes from the dream, Jesus wouldn't have the lineage son of David. So the whole world quaked. The whole world was rumbling. Lord, can, you, can, um, can Mary say yes? But then Joseph had to say yes. So he needed two yeses. But the key lesson is obedience brings peace. Obedience brings blessing. And if you find our lives are cursing and the sun rising and you're seeing a dawn and illuminating, it's because when we walk in light and we walk in obedience, we'll get blessings. But when we choose not to, we choose curse. God doesn't curse anybody. That's why it's important. Joseph had proof. He had ammunition to shame Right? But he was peace in the will of God. He obeyed, and he was a man under the Father's will. Mary is a great figure, and Mary was key today because the Holy Spirit came in a womb, 
and the Holy Spirit is something that came straight from, from, from Genesis. When, when, it, when there was chaos in the world, the Holy Spirit hovered. And because of this recreation, Ezekiel says, out of dead bones, a spirit will arise and there will be life. And this is what the, why Elizabeth and Mary joined together, because in the middle of um, scandal, because Mary was due to be stoned, Mary supposed to be shamed by Joseph. Elizabeth was an old woman, and in those days, women never met, never raised up women. In the middle of this scandal, in the center, in the center of any scandal in your life is mystery. God is with us. So if you think it's scandalous and things bad, look for God in the middle, just like how Matthew started the gospel and end the gospel, Emmanuel, God is with us. So Advent, though he comes at Christmas, recognize he comes in the word of God. Again, he recognizes what happens on the altar, the Catholic Church that Lee read so beautifully about the scripture. Recognize that he comes in the priesthood unworthy as we are and recognize that each one of us have God in us, which is what other religions don't teach. The kingdom, he says. He says, the, the, the least in the kingdom, my new dispensation, my new birth, is greater than the greatest of the old, John the Baptist. What he's really saying there is that the greatest sinner could become the holiest saint. Repeat. Repeat. The greatest sinner could become the... In him, in his birth, in this new dispensation, in this new kingdom of which we celebrate. And that's why Christmas is so much. So we're glad when we see everybody with lights and things and, you know, but I don't like the sand and the elves and the, and the rain. They are too much. But at least when you have the lights, people are saying, light. He's a light that has come. I hope when you light up the house. But well, whenever you just tune it for feeling, you have to be careful. Christmas cannot be a feeling and it cannot be a fix. It's a, you must have a rebirth because he's saying the least in this new rebirth is greater than the greatest. Which means that even all of the Old Testament, all of John and all the stuff that happened, those were great. And I said it was great. And I said it was the greatest. But the least in me, the least in the kingdom, and the least what Joseph said, and the least what Mary did to bring this child and to bring this candle center is the mystery that I am with you. I trust me. Trust me. And that's what Mary did. And Elizabeth says, never give up on hope. I all a barren, a pack up, but God made a child in me. Trust God. There's so much on negativity. A doctor came last night in the presbytery. He said, Father, you don't have a clue what's happening in the hospital. You don't have a clue. He said, imagine now, you have to choose people to go to ICU bed. And he says, you know who they're choosing? I won't tell you. But that is bad. The church says clearly he's on a first come, first serve basis. But in the hospital, because of the tired, they're choosing who know who. They're choosing who vaccinated. They're choosing who have more life. If an old man comes with an old woman, I think, they say, well, you live already. That can't be. You can't choose life like that. So in this country, we reach a stage of a culture of death where you have no ICU bed. And if somebody dies, you have one more, and five people line up. They're saying, how old are you? You take the vaccine. You have comorbidities. And they choose then. The church is clear. You can't. To choose life is first come, first serve. So in the midst of all this, and in the midst of darkness, and in the midst of so much culture of death, and people not using the church, and all this stuff, Matthew says today, God is with us at the beginning. At the end, he says clearly, I quote, I'll be with you. The last sentence of Matthew, I will be with you always to the end of your age. A lot of us don't want God. A lot of us categorically says by our life. Even the church when we walk away, and just Papi show, you know what I mean by it? We have walked away, and we are maybe agents of the devil. But we have to let the church be a home where people ex experience God is with us. Daniel brought a woman last night, and she says, Daniel, what she said? She says she never experienced this. Because a church must be a place where you experience the rebirth, a, a presence of God. Because when Elizabeth met Mary, John the Baptist was in the womb, and imagine a child in the belly recognized God. How come we don't? And we... Prof profess of first communion, we did everything. How come we don't receive communion? How come we don't bow at, at consecration? How come Christmas time we don't have at least one sacrament of reconciliation? Because all the graces that come between 
Christmas Day and Epiphany, all the great solemnities. It's just a floodgate of graces. And if you're not ready for it, haven't gone to confession, haven't done an examination of conscience, we just going to routine in out. Santa had to come holy faithful and going through the motion, singing the choir, preaching, and, uh, and nothing. And that is why the reboot is important. That's why Aurora is important. In the midst of the darkness, in the midst of the negativity, in the midst of the culture of death, in the midst of we have to choose at the hospital in this stage. I never thought it would so bad. He says, the health workers are breaking. How much more I want to close by telling you, when all this is over, hopefully, and history is written, the saints of this world will be the doctors and the nurses and the workers and the cleaners in those hospitals. It won't be the priests. It will be those people who save lives. Secondly, the person who give their arms up to test vaccine. I wasn't going to test no vaccine. 270,000 people give their arms up to save us. Those are the saints. Not those who watch and listen and do altar cloth. No. Joseph was a saint because the kind of life and the rigorous witness he did. And let me thank God for Jesus' birth has been announced today. From the beginning, Emmanuel, and that's why we say it at communion and sing it. And the last line, he says, I'll be with you always. And I really want to beg up Joseph as we end the end of this. He knew the scripture. He was a just man. He had reason to do what he could have done. He didn't have the tyranny of passion and jealousy and vengeance and anger. And the man became one of the greatest saints that ever lived because he apparently is a patron saint for happy death. Mary allowed it, and that's why in her womb, Holy Spirit, Elizabeth Child could leap for joy. And that's why the middle of scandal anywhere in your life, the center is the center of mystery. God is in the center of scandal and mystery. And not to mention in our families, because he came in the center of a mess. He came in his genealogy. He came in brokenness. If you see his lineage with David and Beth Simon and all his bacchanal, to tell you that in the midst of your past and your brokenness could never be a stumbling block for my eye to enter. I'll be born in anything. I'll be born in a manger, mess, because manger means marge, food. Would you eat? Close our eyes and bring our petitions. The sun is rising. Lord, we pray. In the darkest of nights, in the darkest of the world, I don't think we get darker. And so many of tuned into us. We pray for those, Lord, that we recognize Emmanuel in spite of God is with us and learn to trust like Mary and learn to never give up on hope like Elizabeth and learn to understand in all the prophets that greatness comes from smallness. Greatness is not how high you reach. It's the depths you come from. What Christmas teaches us is from manger, cow tutu, struggle, sacrifice and service that makes a child a firm character, not spoiled brat. Lord, teach us Christmas message all year through. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray for men in our world. Sometimes we are Maniku, Joseph, tender obedience, teaching us despite he had grounds for divorce and to be jealous and to be vengeance and to be hastened with anger. He never responded with any of the above. He obeyed and ordered his whole life. And again took the woman to be his wife. What a gift. He had proof. Lord, obedience brings blessing. Disobedience brings curse. Our choice. We thank God for Joseph. His yes. Let's choose the Bible with a mess. We'll walk away. Pack up everything here from the oral mass and go away. Because Jesus would not have been born from his son of David. He said yes. And, and so Jesus had the lineage son of David. We pray like Joseph to have a happy death. And when we close our eyes, Lord, he be our myth in the middle. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit may come in our wombs. 
as he hovered in Genesis and recreation in these times and restore our land, our dry bones. Come, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, this Christmas. Make a giant leap of joy. Let, let it be the best Christmas ever because of examination of our Advent conscience. That when you come to our hearts, it will be stretched to open to fill all that graces that flow in your church. Let it not be caught up with frivolity and tinsel and light and Christmas tree and Santa hat only. Those are nice for feelings, but be born in us again. And you don't like sin. A lot of us are living in sin. Lord, hear us. What more do we pray for? We pray for a check on our reality. God is real. Jesus is real. Christmas is real. That's why you have all these people kneel, you know. Father, we pray that though you accepted all as part of your lineage, that we will learn to love all and serve all and be just to all. Because you came in a system where every part of your gene had some kind of dysfunction, some kind of brokenness, kinkiness, some kind of crack. Because it's in the crack, the light, the aurora lights penetrates. Lord, hear us. Lord, you're so real that you're telling us today, like an egg, we said, if you break the egg from the outside, it's death. That's fry egg. But when you break the egg from the inside, there's life. A chick. Lord, break us from the inside. Advent is the inside walk. Lord, scrub inside of us. Scrape, scourge. So you'll be born again in us. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray for our past and thank God for the pain and the poverty. Let it be power. Let pain and past and poverty never be an obstacle of grace. Let the poverty and the past and the pain be a stumbling block. It's not how high you reach. It's the depths you've come from that make us who we are. Christmas teaches us that. Manger, donkey, running, no room in the inn, scandal, Mary, unwed, mother, Joseph, sin, proof. Real life. 21st century. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray for the skeletons in our closets, in our families. There is hope. God is with us. We trust in you. There is no perfect family. Even he came from an imperfect family. As a matter of fact, you don't need a, impo you don't need a perfect past for conversion. We need an imperfect past. That's why you will work with us. You are with us. Lord, hear us. Those who are locked down with us will put your petitions now. We listen to those locked into us. As we sing, Hear, O Lord, and have mercy, O land. Open your hands, church, those who are locked on. Those who have your family, you can key in your stuff now, key in your petition. You can cry out your thoughts now and Make your Christmas wish as the sun rises and the birds go back. All the animals are awakened. We move to the altar in a few moments. Hear, oh Lord, the sound of my God. Lord, thank you for light. Lord, thank you for life. Lord, thank you for the promise. Emmanuel, Lord, you will never abandon us. You made us in your own image. We are children of God with our inheritance, with a divine nature, with an eternal destiny. What a gift, Lord. Be born in us again. Be born in our hospitals, Lord. Be born among those nurses and doctors, all medical professional practitioners, those who work, auxiliary staff, those who clean, those who work, those who transport ambulance, who save our people. All the scientists Every Lord, us. Night Jesus is the fulfillment of God's promise to come. And he lives and he's present. He's present in the word. He's present in you. Sing church. Bring your petitions. Bring your joy. Bring your sorrow. That loneliness and that longing. 
it's gone when I'm away. It's gone when Lord, thank you for the men of this world. Let men be men, Lord. Grow up in learning scripture. And note that God is with them. Treat women with dignity. Be good family members of the household. Holy Spirit, come in the middle of scandal. Mystery is born. Mary, stoned to death, Jew. Elizabeth, old, and Jew to die in pregnancy. As in Mido, the children left and experienced your presence. And I... Lord, we thank you for the Marys of this world. She was silent. She never defended a case. She knew she had a case. She suffered, Lord, suspicion. For the sake of a direct intervention of a birth, the beginning of our salvation. Mother Mary, we thank you. Bless our lives, Lord. Bless our all our liturgies planned for this. Someone as sun rises and the light penetrates. Aurora is born. Sing church. That's why we wear Mary on our chasuble because we are the O antiphon. We're in the last week. We're in the last nine days. The last week is dedicated to the coming of Jesus and Bethlehem. O Lord and have mercy. My soul is longing. My soul is longing for the Lord, we praise, Lord, we glorify. We move to the altar to have our offertory hymn. God is present now in the Eucharist. As we raise that host today, you can see penetration of light. Imagine it. Since the sun is not rising, it's the way it should now because of weather. But God, you're in a mystery and you are in it. You are Emmanuel. You are with us. We trust. Amen? Amen. We have our off to him. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord, come. No problem. Open my eyes, open my mind, open my eyes, peace and love.
que este sacrificio que es mío y también de ustedes le agrade a Dios Padre Todopoderoso. El Señor reciba de tus manos este sacrificio para alabanza y the gloria de su nombre. Que este sacrificio, Señor, que te ofrecemos en devoción nunca deje de realizarse para que se cumpla el designio que encierra tan santo misterio y obra eficazmente en nosotros tu salvación. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. El Señor esté con ustedes. And with your Levantemos el corazón. Demos gracias al Señor nuestro Dios. It is right and just. En verdad es justo y necesario. Es nuestro deber y salvación darte gracias siempre y en todo lugar, Señor Padre Santo. Dios Todopoderoso y Eterno, por Jesucristo, tu Hijo amado. Por Él que es tu palabra, hiciste todas las cosas. Tú nos lo enviaste para que, hecho hombre por obra del Espíritu Santo y nacido de María la Virgen, fuera nuestro Salvador y Redentor. Él, en cumplimiento de tu voluntad para destruir la muerte y manifestar la resurrección, extendió sus brazos en la cruz y así adquirió para ti un pueblo santo. Por eso, unidos a los coros angélicos, te aclamamos llenos de alegría. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones enviando sobre ellos tu espíritu para que se conviertan en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual, cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan. Dando gracias, te bendijo. Lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y coman todos de él. Porque esto es mi cuerpo, que será entregado por ustedes. Oh, 
Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, tomó el cáliz. Y dándote gracias, de nuevo lo pasó a sus discípulos, diciendo, Tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. My Lord and my God. what um, Matthew was talking about when he says God is with us at the beginning of his gospel and the last sentence I will be with you forever just bow your heads God is with us in the Catholic Church in the Eucharistic, Eucharistic species mystery of faith. Save it. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la pasión salvadora de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos este pan de vida y este cáliz de salvación y te damos gracias porque nos permite celebrar en tu presencia. Te pedimos con humildad que el Espíritu Santo nos congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia peregrina en la tierra y con tu siervo el Papa Francisco, con nuestros obispos, Jason Gordon y Jaime José, y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, lleva a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate de nuestros hermanos que duermen ya en el sueño de la paz, y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia, admítelos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Apiádate de todos nosotros y así, con la Virgen María, Madre de Dios y Madre Nuestra, con los apóstoles, con San Dominic, San Dominic, Saint Dominic, Saint Dominic, Saint Dominic, Saint Dominic, Saint Dominic. Con San Miguel Arcángel y cuanto vivieron en tu amistad a través de los tiempos merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo, him, con él y en él. Him. A ti Dios Padre him, omnipotente, la unidad del Espíritu Unity Santo. Todo honor y toda gloria, honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. At the Savior's command, we sing the Our Father, a song that unites us all. God went through so many areas of our lives to draw people, to restore them. Just calling all the people all over the world who struggle to find him, to have a rebirth in him. We dare to see and sing. Our Father, sing church, who our son. Art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day 
líbranos, Señor, de todos los males y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. For the kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the, power and the glory are yours, now and forever, now and forever, Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo y mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. La paz del Señor esté con todos ustedes. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Este es Jesucristo, el Cordero de Dios, el que quita el pecado del mundo, dichosos los invitados a esta cena. Señor, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall, may the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us all safe in these times, especially for everlasting life. Amen. We sing Emmanuel. Matthew begins his gospel and ends with it, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. I'll be with you to the end of time, until the end of all ages, or what God says. This is Jesus, Emmanuel, God is with us in this sacrament. Come receive him. Lord, him. Sitting.
yes, to those who have not received, how many have not received? Who have not received communion? Just raise your hand. And the angels called him Jesus, born of a virgin. Mary called him Jesus, but I call him Lord. He sacrament most holy. And the promise of Jesus, whoever eats my body and drinks my blood lives in me, I live in them. I will raise you up on the last day. O sacrament most holy. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. We just sing at the end of our morning and A little meditation song before we end and thank God for this morning and we have a few refreshments as we leave. Amen. And the angels called him Jesus Amen. born of a virgin Mary called him Mary called him Jesus, but I call him Lord. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God is with us. Those who have not received communion, can you stand? With us, revealed in us, 
Sir Michael, the archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safe guard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host. By the power of God, cast into hell all the evil spirits. Let us stand and pray. Lord, we re receive your mercy in the midst of your temple today, December the 18th, in the O Antiphon period of Advent, the last week. We receive your mercy, Lord, and show fitting honor to the coming solemnities in, our, in your redemption through Christ our Lord. Please sit, we have a little sharing as... So we thank God, amen. So anybody, just share with us quickly before we go. Cameras can... Morning, brother. Oh, good. Wait. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, good morning Father Christo. Good morning. Good morning, Father Gothenburg. Good morning. Congratulations on your fourteenth anniversary of the priestly ordination. We want to thank God for you as a leader. We want to thank God for you as a servant. And we are so blessed to have you as a parish priest. May Amen. God always bless you and keep you. Amen. From Amen. the Legion of Mary. Oh, thank you. <coughs> thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Sam. So we just want to get a sharing quickly before we leave. Sometimes there's so much happening. Amen. Anybody want to share quickly? Amen. Shema, what is stirring up in your heart today? We didn't see the sunrise the way we wanted it, but God is present. What struck you? What struck you in the whole awakening of the darkness and the birds and the aurora? And the beauty of God's creation. The beauty of, of God's, God's creation. And how it awakens and yes. the birds coming in. Shami, what is God speaking to you about today? Quickly. Goodness of the beauty. The beauty of God. Amen. Sister? You have to share, Lena. Amen. Yeah, and we have to know the true meaning. Amen. God is always with us, and we have to understand the true meaning of this reboot of Christmas. Very good. Martha, all the way from Mon Diablo. Um, it was, for me, this is our first experience, and I felt good. Amen. I felt relaxed. I felt like just open up, open up. Amen. Amen. Open up. And, yeah, just. Like a real, a new awakening arising. Amen, amen. And that happens for nine days in South America where they have this novena called Aurora. They walk in the night and they end up going back home on the day because that whole awakening is what Christmas is about. Sabrina, can you share with us? Obedience. Obedience. Um, Joseph was obedient. He listened to an angel. He had a choice and he woke up instantly to, to pursue the will of God. And Joseph died a happy death. So obedience bring blessing. Disobedience bring curses. Amen. Thankful for life. Thankful for life. Amen. There's so much happening in the hospitals. We thank God. And we have, we, we have the luxury of seeing the rising sun in our presbytery. So we have also an aurora experience we could experience that the church teaches in Latin America. Lee, thank you for your... There's a mystery in the scandal and the mess because God came in the mess when you read his genealogy. You recognize he came from a lot of brokenness of him telling you that in it I am with you and in your crack I will let light shine. Isn't that awesome? So no family perfect. Well, and God is saying it's in the crack from the inside I will penetrate. So God is in. That's why um, um, um Matthew said at the beginning, you know, Emmanuel and at the end to understand it. Other religions tell you God is remote and he's waiting to come back. Catholicism says God is in the bread, transfigured. What a gift we have. And will never give us, never abandon us. Margaret, what the Lord is saying to you? Without Christ, there is no Christmas. 
Without Christ, there is no Christmas. Mm -hmm. Sister, what the Lord is saying? In life, there is rebirth, and in rebirth, there is life. Mm -hmm. In life, there is rebirth, and in rebirth, there is life. We all these theologians, boy. Thank you. The, the most sinful person can become the most holiest saint. Oh my gosh. She said the, the worst sinner, and she's watching me, the worst <laughs> sinner can become the holiest saint. That's powerful because the least, he says, in Jesus now, the worst sinner, the man on the cross, can become the greatest, not the greatest saint. That means there's hope for Christo. She said, Amen. Oh Lord. Shane, what is the Lord speaking to you today about? Joseph, yes. Joseph, yes. If Joseph didn't say yes, we're in a mess. We pack up our bags, carry home the chocolate tea and all that, and eat and go. Um, because Joseph had to say yes, because Jesus must come from the line of son of David. So Joseph is a man is unheard of, unspoken, and a great man of God. She tell you what? She teeth yours? Yes. Yeah, so let, let me hear what she teeth. I already forget. Huh? I already forget. You forget what she teeth? Where your teeth? Your teeth are not forgetting. The rebirth. Amen. Dixie, what is the Lord saying to you? Even in scandal, Christ comes. Amen. Even in scandal and mess, there's mystery of Christ. Amen. Anybody want to share? We've got a lot of people locked on today. Barry, where are you? Where is the keyboard? It's where? where? Um, Barry, what is the Lord saying to you all? People want to know outside. Barry, what you got today? Quickly. Barry, blushing. He's ready to eat. He said peace. Whatever that means. That means peace in the will of God. Amen? Amen. Daniel. At the rising of the sun, there is new mercies every day. Oh gosh, I like that. From the rising of the sun to setting, God is in with us. Some places you don't see the sun rising. And some places you don't see the sun setting. We see both. We're real up here. And imagine in your church, you see the sun rising. And we could experience an aurora mass. And those who came last year, who could have seen when the sun rising, when the host rising, we get the best aurora. And even in Latin America, they don't have that. They just go to church building. We have both. Plus, not to mention the cocoa tea after. She said, amen. How was she come for? I like you for that. We have nice cocoa tea. Elal, come quickly. Elal. Adel, Andel, where is he? Andel made fresh countryside cocoa tea, nice homemade. And I think Martha chewed up the coconut for the bake, right? Martha, coconut bake and saltfish. Okay. Aaron. Sometimes it'll just be good to stop and listen. Sometimes you take it for granted. You never knew the birds wake up early and the birds is awakening and the birds is a alarm clock. And you notice the birds came in a certain time just before the light came and we read the word. So God speaks in creation because God is in the mix, in the midst, in the mess, in the scandal. Andel. Even in the darkness, God is here. Amen. Even in the darkness, there is light. Amen. Can you ask for a Gothenburg? El Inglés? Todo bien. Muy bien. Gracias a Dios. Muy bien. You want to know why I ain't giving no hamper. <laughs> and then what the Lord said to you. You're sleeping through any all outing? Yeah, amen. Coming in darkness and but you should have seen it last year. We were out there and the sun and Daniel, it really lifted and rise. So we thank God for all the food you did for us. So we sit and the food will come, right, is it? And then we're going to lock live. Amen? The Lord be with you. And bow your heads and say amen for each invocation. The end of this Advent. Say amen after each invocation. Bow your heads. Lord Almighty Father, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the coming of your beloved Son, and you and faith coming again. Father, sanctify us by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life this Christmas, may he make you firm in faith 
joyful in hope, active in charity. See many more Christmases. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing now with devotion at the Savior's coming in the flesh. You may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. And bow your heads, my mighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you, remain with you, preserve you from all that is evil, and grant you everlasting life. This Aurora Mass, this experience is ended. Go prepare for Christmas. Go glorify God with your lives. Have a wonderful breakfast. Amen. Sit where you are. Don't move. People will come and serve you. Amen. Our recessional hymn. Amen. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, Lord will stand as a shout of all who will call on His name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Could the Lord ever leave you? Could the Lord forget His love? Though the mother forsake her child, He will not abandon you. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand. As a shelter for all who will call on His name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Should you turn and forsake Him, He will gently call your name. Should you wander away from him, he will always take you back. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand. As a shelter for all who will call on the same, sing the praise and the glory of God. Go to heaven when you're weary. And the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand. As a shelter for all who will call on the same, sing the praise and the glory of God. Sing the praise and the glory of God. Sing the praise and the glory of God.